Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 27 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about secrets utility inside Databricks utilities of Azure Databricks. So, I have discussed what is Databricks utilities and also I have discussed what is secret scopes and how to create an Azure Key Vault backed secret scope and how to create a Databricks backed secret scope. Everything in our previous videos. Please watch all those videos in the playlist in the sequence order. You will get most understanding of this video. If you don't watch previous videos, if you directly jump into and start watching this video, then you may not get more details. So, in our past videos, we discussed that there is something called a secret scope, right? So, once you create a secret scope account, inside the secret scope account, you will be having a secret, right? And inside every secret, you will actually store a credential information, maybe like passwords and uh, it can be anything right so you will you will store all that uh, information sensitive information there right so why you do that instead of hard coding the passwords and everything inside your notebook you store your credentials into these secrets and read these credentials from here inside your notebook right so that's how we do and we see in the practical implementation of that in our previous video so in this video in the past video we, we used this secrets utility on a high level to fetch the information of the credential which is stored inside the secret which is inside the secret scope so this video will little elaborate about what is the secret utility and what are all the commands available inside the secret utility and watch it command will do actually so this is secret utility will allow you to store and access the sensitive credential information without making them visible to the notebooks so this we know right so when you store your credentials and when you don't want to move make visible your credentials inside the notebook in that case you will create a secret scopes so it is something like the secret scope will be there so inside the secret scope you will be having a secret and inside the secret you will be having your sensitive information stored it can be account key it can be password it can be credentials it can be anything right so now let's understand about this secret utility first so let me go to browser so this is my azure databricks browser so here uh, let's try to create a new notebook for example and uh, this notebook name I am giving it maybe like uh, Mahir notebook maybe okay Mahir notebook one okay and then I am attaching this with a demo cluster there is one cluster already I created so I am attaching my notebook with that cluster that's it so now here in our past videos if you have seen we actually created some secret scopes and we created some secrets inside the secret scope as well so if you want to see, you need to open a Databricks CLI, that means open a command prompt and uh, how to install the Databricks CLI, how to connect your Databricks CLI with the workspace also discussed in our previous videos. So here you can execute this Databricks secrets list scopes. So this command will help you to list the available scopes of in your Databricks workspace. So when I hit enter, so it is going to communicate with the Databricks workspace and it will, it will give me the information. So there are totally two scopes right now available inside my Databricks workspace. One is demo scope, another one is test scope. This demo scope is backed by Databricks and this test scope is backed by Azure Key Vault. So we created these two scopes in our previous videos, right? So if you have seen previous videos, by this time you understand what is this backed by Databricks or backed by Azure, Data, Azure Key Vault, right? So I am not going in detail about it. So please watch my previous videos if you want to understand. So now inside each secret scope, I might have created one or more secrets and inside the secrets, I might, I may have stored the account key or any sensitive information, right? So if I want to know what and all the available secrets inside this secret scope, then there is another command. So this command you need to execute. So there is something called like this, the Databricks secrets, then list scope. And here you need to give name of your scope. For example, inside the demo scope, whatever the secrets I have, I want to list down everything. So let me hit enter here. So this is going to go inside a secret scope account and it will give you all the secrets which you created inside the secret scope. So I created only one secret called my blob. So inside this my blob in my previous video, I actually stored a storage account, account key information of a storage account actually. Okay. So now let's go back to our Databricks browser. So here, so we are discussing about something called db utilities right so db utilities is a uh, module available inside the databricks that will help you or that will give you a lot of utilities which will help you in your day-to-day -day work of the notebooks so here if you see there is a uh, useful utility called secrets utility this is secrets utility actually provides you a 
utility that will help you to get the secrets for your notebooks uh, that means go to secret scopes and read the secrets and give the values back into your notebook that is what the exact job of this secrets utility do so inside the secret utilities if you want to know what and all the commands available so for that what you need to do simply on the databricks utilities use your utility name then use this help function so let me hit shift enter to execute this command so there are totally four commands available inside the secret utility one is get that will get the string representation of the secret value what you stored inside the secret and get bytes it will actually return you the byte representation of the secret value what you stored inside the secret scope and then list is going to give you all the secrets which are there inside a scope so for this list function you need to supply the secret scope name once you supply it inside that secret scope name whatever the secrets is there it will try to give you and the list scopes will give you all the secret scopes which are available inside my workspace for example here uh, if you see this command given me all the secret scopes which are available inside my workspace contract similarly this list scopes command will give you all the secret scopes which i created inside this workspace so firstly get function so if you see db utilities then secrets then to the get function we need to supply the scope name and also the secret key name so for example let's take a example here so here for the scope let's use this demo scope maybe so inside a demo scope then what is the secret name you need to supply it as a second parameter so inside the demo scope there is a secret called my blob right so let me take this so my blob so once you supply this value it, it will go to this secret scope and then inside that scope it will go to this secret key and get the credential information what is stored there so when i hit shift enter here you actually see the data is returning back but that data is reducted so data breaks by default will reduce the information it won't directly show you onto your notebook okay so data will be or the sensitive information will be reducted okay so it is same with the get bytes as well so even if you use get bytes function by supplying the scope name and the secret name you will get the same secret information what is there inside this key but uh, that information will be reducted again and that that data will be reducted in a binary format actually i mean written in a binary format so let me hit shift enter here and see even here it is a reducted only but it has this b that means it is a binary format so if you want to decode this information then on top of this return data uh, you can you can use this uh, decode function so there is something called uh, decode function to the decode function you can supply like uh, the data is written in a utf8 format so i want to decode it from the utf8 then you can use this function on top of it okay but even if you use it you will see a reducted information also now list scopes this list scopes will actually do the same job what this command given so it will actually give all the scope names for that workspace so here let me use this list scopes function here so in, let me remove this so list scopes so if and this function does not need any parameter to supply so let me hit shift enter so this is going to give you all the secret scopes which is there inside this workspace so there are two secret scopes one is demo scope another one is test scope the same thing we can see here as well right now i want to see inside this demo scope whatever the secret keys available so for that we need to use this list function so use this list function and to the list function we need to supply the scope name so let's supply my scope name is demo scope so if you see this command here inside the demo scope we have only one secret that is that is called my blob the same thing will be written here as well so let me hit shift enter and wait for the execution to complete you can see there is only one key inside the secret scope that is called my blob so like this using this uh, secret utility you can read the secrets information which is stored inside the secret scopes very securely so i hope you got an idea about what is secret utility and you got an idea about the commands available inside the secret utility thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i videos thank you so much